good, I would say. There's a little taper in it. One thing I could do is basically just with a bottle jack is I could jack up that one side and basically get it level and then I would lose less board feet. But for what I'm doing and the equipment I have, I got an edger. I'll be able to um, MacGyver something out of this piece. But it's white oak, that's for sure, it's heavy. It's looking good so far. Probably get it turned here, maybe take one more slab off. Rotating it. Who needs hydraulics, man? In all seriousness, though, I love this sawmill. Does everything I needed to do. But here in a few years, when I get a little older, man, I'll definitely need some hydraulics to be turning this son of a gun. This wood is so nice, though. Struggle is real. Well, that might have worked. Come on. That ain't so bad. Oh, it'll probably be a little lighter after this. Don't gotta go crazy with it. I just focus on. Uh, sometimes I do go crazy with it, but I just focus on getting the, uh, just getting the dirt off of it as much as I can. Try to save my blades because blades are another cost. So put a little effort into it. Try to save them. Goes a long way. Looks like there might be some sumac on this too. So. If my next video I'm all swollen up, you know why? Because I'm dead. I'm, I'm allergic to sumac. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. Boys and girls, whoever follows me. Let's go ahead and rip it up. lucky that time usually a lot harder with this oak get that square which basically the way to get it squared is you want these lined up 
with the wood. These these bunks, these stoppers line up with that. So, you know, sometimes it ain't perfect, but who is? Nice, got a whole bunch of one by six by twelves, and then a few one by twelve by twelves, and then I got that six by six I'm taking to a customer. She wanted a, I think she's making some posts for like stairs or something kind of cool. Went good though. <laughs> 